Welcome to Inside PTI, weekly videos designed to get you the trial results you want, agronomy explanations you need, and insights that will set you up for success this season. Today we're going to talk about at plant applications of potassium. Now, potassium, it's one of the essential nutrients that we have to apply uh, for our crops every year. Potassium is classified as a macronutrient, just as nitrogen and phosphorus are. Okay, and plants are going to take up potassium in its ionic form of K positive. Okay, so potassium is one that, you know, if we look at deficiency in the field, and here's some corn leaves on here, and I, I kind of use this as a slide when, I, when I'm scouting fields. You know, potassium deficiency is going to show up as discoloration of the leaf on the outside edges of the leaf. And this is going to show you, um, this is a symptomology of when you have run out of potassium out in the field. But this is going to be the opposite of nitrogen. Nitrogen is going to show up in the middle of the leaves. Potassium is on the outside. Usually you'll see that yellowing of the firing on the outside edges. Okay, and here's some, here's some kind of four leaves that, that do really show nice potassium deficiency uh, from the field. Now, here's some soybeans. You're going to get the same thing. It's always on the outside edges. You're going to get that yellowing. And what we need to determine is if this happens in the field, why is this happening? You know, what, what kind of fertilizer have we put on in the field in regards to potassium? You know, what kind of yields are we pulling off and where are we deficient? And here's kind of, you know, a source from the Illinois Agronomy Handbook on how much potassium we use for corn and soybeans. Corn, we're going to be at 0.28 pounds per bushel and soybeans 1.3. So soybeans is definitely a higher user when it comes to potassium. Now, an interesting thing is happening with potassium, and I think we've seen this for, for, some, for quite some time now. You know, soil testing labs, here's some data from A&L Great Lakes where they're showing, you know, really from, you know, after 2006, we've seen soil samples come in and the, the potassium levels are dropping. And I don't exactly know what the reason of this is, but this is of, of, of some concern to us. Um, telling us that we don't have as much potassium out there as we once had. Here's some more data from the University of Wisconsin at Madison. You know, starting um, in the late 90s, they're seeing the same response. Soil samples that just don't have enough potassium is what we've had in the past, so this is a concern. Now, what we're doing at, at Precision Planning, particularly at the PTI farm, is we're looking at a reallocation fertility program where we do use 0060 muriate of potash is our dry fertilizer in the fall, but then we reallocate, we lower that amount of dry fertilizer because we know we're going to put liquid on the planter. Okay, so that's called a reallocation program. So let's go to the planter. I think everybody's familiar with the dry fertilizer side. Let's go to the planter. So we're using an attachment called Conceal. We've talked about this in our other Inside PTI videos, but it's, you know, Conceal is a knife that's inside the gauge wheel. We're using existing equipment on the planter to make this liquid application while we plant. And we'll just go to a, just a real quick video here. We can go single band or dual band. My preference is dual band. Uh, two knives on the planter, one in each gauge wheel. And we're putting a high concentrated band of potassium on each side of the corn plant or soybean plant, okay? And so here the blue dots would indicate, at least with this young, young seedling of corn, where the application point is when we're using conceal and applying potassium. Now, what kinds of potassium are we applying at the PTI farm? Uh, one of the products that we've had really good success with is a product called K-Fuse from Nature's. Uh, K-Fuse is going to have nitrogen, potash, and sulfur, so it's kind of a three-way product, and we've really had good luck with this. Uh, for every gallon we apply with K-Fuse, we're going to get 0.65 of nitrogen, 1.3 of potash, and 1.3 of sulfur. So it's a really um, kind of well-rounded product for us. Um, it, it's also got Bio-K with it. This is just a, a recently patented product. Um, it's going to have potassium acetate technology along with it, so it's one of the, the benefits of, of K-Fuse. Let's go over some results here. Here's some results from 2019 this past year. It's PTI farm using this K-Fuse. We're applying it at three, four, five, and six gallon to the acre. And, you know, three gallon probably wasn't enough, but once we ramped up to that four, five, six, we're seeing nine to 11 bushel responses. So we are seeing some benefit of having potassium applied in a high concentrated band on the planter. Let's take the cost of these rates into this, and here's our net return. So three gallon, we didn't see enough yield response to pay for the product, but once we get to higher rates of four, five, and six, we're seeing almost near $20 of a, of a net return. So this is, again, after the cost of that K-Fuse product. So some pretty nice response there with K-Fuse. 
We're also using it on soybeans as well. The past data was on corn. We're seeing some nice results on beans. Now here I've lowered the rate um, with the Nature's product. We're using one to three gallon of the KFUs. But you can look at the results here from 19. We're seeing 2.7 to 4.4 bushel increases on soybeans as well with this potassium product. You take the, the, the ROI into this, and again, we're pretty close to $20 on a per acre basis. So we're getting some response from this potassium. We're looking at other products as well. This is a product from Marco uh, Fertilizer out of Clinton, Illinois. We've worked with them for a long time. This is just a, 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 a regular potassium acetate. It's a clear product, applies very nicely. We're running this at two, four, and six gallon on some soybeans. And look at some of this response. We're seeing up to eight bushel on soybeans. Um, some really nice responses. And some of this is approaching near 45 to $50 an acre net profit. So definitely seeing some response from potassium. So today's inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is potassium plays a major role in supporting high yields of corn and soybeans. In our PTI studies, we have demonstrated that we can effectively apply potassium safely on the planter to help supplement our fertility programs. And if we're in a situation where K soil test values are declining over time, this may be a great way to really hone in on a reallocated fertility program. For more information or questions, feel free to reach out to any Precision Planning Premier dealer, or you can email us at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching.